Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Come on, girl. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry, making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. Hold up on this ridge. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What in the hell guns up we got coming?
I'll drive. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Stay locked! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Buy a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we arrive back in with a big take, a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no big... If with you, I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What the hell? in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coat, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock break for one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours.
take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> 
about. Glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has it? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? Alright, lead the way. So how'd you find? I was saying...
Okay. Shit. <clears throat> ah. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks. And your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, huh? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid, witches. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you. Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Ah, oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, it picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny feller, John Marston. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar. Think you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. Now, I was saying something. Ah, oh, yeah. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we've locked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. 
Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. <laughs> Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. up here. Join us on board. Hey! All right! Get on that train! Foster! All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm! Oh, sure. you get uh, shot! Don't do it! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Oh. There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full. What can I do? I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Please. Don't hide it. Don't, 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 don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything we got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. You want to count to three? God damn it. Oh, Sick as bad as that lady. I'll take my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You must make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Great job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about oh, that? Uh, not down. You show this son of a bitch oh. what you around here? Please, please, stop. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over my friend then. Come on. Put it now! Shut up, bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. I don't want to everything you got. Let's go. Anything. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Don't molest me, please. Okay. None of you. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Best brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. 
Take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Man, <sighs> my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Look out on the left! Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. 
Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. 